I am a brand now, you know, representation is such a big thing for me. I really want the little kids to look up to me and be like, oh, if she could do it, then I could do it as well, you understand? Hi, Sassi. Hi. How's it going? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Um, listen, I just arrived and this is 2023 for me, so I'm definitely excited. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. This is 10 questions with Bella Major and Desperados. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> How does it feel to be a Big Brother Titans finalist? A top three for that matter. Top three. Gratitude. I am grateful. I am grateful more than anything, you know. It's just, listen, I always say it's just God. For me, it's just God. Yeah, I'm just grateful. It feels amazing. Top three is not child's play. So I definitely know that I did the most. Yes. Cool. So did you have any strategies going into the house? Not and, really. And how did you adjust them throughout the season, okay. if you had? Okay, strategies, not really. Because for me, I just felt like just be yourself and do you. And obviously always humble yourself, you know, things like that. I feel like just draw, drew me to people and stuff like that. So I didn't really sit down and I was like, I have a strategy, this is my plan and stuff like that. No, I was just myself and I'm glad it worked for me. Awesome. So. Tell us about you and Canada journey, right? How would you describe what you get, what you guys have right now? Kanaga Junior and I, we're doing great, man. Kanaga Junior and I, we get along so well. I really like what's going on between him and I, you know. Obviously, we had life in the house, and then obviously, also outside of the house, we're trying to understand one another and stuff like that outside of the house. So, yeah, him and I are doing great. All right. Yeah. What was your favorite moment of the season? <sighs> I'm going to say winning the head of house that took me straight to the finals you understand because in the house we kept on talking about how that particular moment is just important because it guarantees you a spot in the finalist so when i went to the arena and i did my thing and i went to the finalist i was like yes i was happy that's beautiful yeah what would you miss the most about the house just the ambiance big problem Listen, we don't like the alarm, but I kind of sort of miss it. It's literally the little things. Like, I find myself looking for my mic, I'm like, or oh, looking around, where's the cameras? It's just the ambiance, the people, the vibe, Big Brother's voice, calling me Tati, you know? So just things like that. And also just knowing that you'll never go back into the house. Mm. Man, so, yeah. <laughs> How did you cope with the pressure of living in Big Brother's house for three months? I feel like sometimes what helps me is just sitting down and having moments to myself. You know, sometimes you just sit down, have moments to like myself, and also just trying to understand people's personalities. You know, when you understand that people won't be different, some people are expressive, some people are nonchalant, just having to understand people, that's what I did. And yeah. All right. What was your biggest challenge during the competition, during the show, and how did you overcome it? Hmm, biggest challenge? I would say the games, and I say this because I never saw myself as like a competitive person. And I say this because I've never been in a platform where I have to jog around the room just to like win and stuff like that, you understand? So after just realizing that I'm actually competitive, because it came so unexpected, but I saw myself just winning games. I'm always in the top four. I'm always just doing my thing. I was, I was, I was stunned by some of the things that I was capable of doing in the house. All right. What did you learn about yourself during your time in the house? That I am patient. Okay. I am the most patient person. Like you guys. It's, it's on another level. And also, I've realized that I'm actually quite a nurturer. Every day in the house, I make sure that people are well fed. I will go into the kitchen. I will come for breakfast. I'm always in the kitchen. I'm such a nurturer. That's just the type of person that I am. And I'm always looking out for people. Yeah. Awesome. What advice would you give to future Big Brother contestants? And how can they best prepare for the competition? Easy. Just be yourself. That's been me. From the audition, I was just like, I'm Tati, I'm nonchalant, I'm just cute, I'm just doing my own thing, you know, and that in itself took me straight to the finals. Just be yourself. All it's right. really not that hard. 
All right, final question. What is next for Sassy? I am coming for everything. Interesting. <laughs> everything. I mean, obviously, I haven't even seen what's going on out there. You know, I came out yesterday, but in my head, I'm like, I am a brand now. You know, representation is such a big thing for me. I really want the little kids to look up to me and be like, oh, if she could do it, then I could do it as well. You understand? Be it lifestyle, be it beauty, be it, I'm big on science. Like I'm a science student. Mm -hmm. Be it things like that. And also just trying to incorporate maybe like the science field with like, media you mm -hmm, understand mm -hmm. just show people that i am not restricting myself you know you know when you have that cool beautiful doctor and you're like she's cool she's beautiful she's vibrant and she's a doctor you mm -hmm. know and people don't just see you as like you're just witty yeah. you're a nerd things like that so yeah that's how i'm planning on tackling the world awesome thank you so much we're looking forward to the magic that Sassy will bring to us. <laughs> thank you so <laughs> and much. Thank, thank you for your time. This is 10 Questions with Bella Naija and Desperado. Yeah, thank you. And I love me some Desperado. Yay. So, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. I highly, highly appreciate it. Awesome.